Hello YouTube, welcome back. Been a couple of weeks since we've done a video because yeah. um you know life, work, everything else kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? Yeah. But uh it's the summer holidays now for uh this little lady. So this little lady has an announcement that she'd like to make to everybody. First of all, hello. Second of all, yesterday was an exciting day for me because I got my ears pierced at ten o'clock. So she's very happy. She's shown off to everybody and anybody who will look, listen, pay attention or anything because she's very, very excited that she's had her ears pierced. Daddy here caved because she wasn't going to get it done until next year, but I'm soft. So, yeah. I'm not getting mine done at all. But anyway, so what have we been up to? Um, I don't know if I've shown you, but jump down. We've got some new stickers on car. So we've got the com truck back yeah, on. Yeah, we've shown them on there. Have we? Video. We've got the com truck and the back end kind of repaired with, with a bit of vinyl. The YouTube. Oh yes, we did because YouTube, we've got the YouTube got the and we've time, got the QR, and got the QR codes in the front ends back in one piece. Yeah. So today's job, we've also been, we've also been buying birthday presents to myself and bits and bobs. So because we've shown that we did all the new suspension on the front new rose joints etc and um, what we now need to do is set it up but we haven't i haven't got time to get the car to uh so to what, mat so, so basically what we're doing today is just measuring we're going to do lots of measurements to see kind of where we are at now so that'll be today's video um measure me measure 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 this little lady here is going to make some notes and write it down on paper just so we can see where we are but what we've been buying Come round here, excuse the mess. So, I can't afford mega expensive, mega fancy uh, corner weight gauges. So what we've done is the next best thing, reading up on the old piston heads and a couple of other websites. So these are 300 kilo parcel scales. We have four, well, they don't weigh hardly anything. We have four of them in uh, them boxes there. So there's four of them. Given that the car, Rebecca, given that the car weighs about 1,040, 1,050 with me and a little bit of fuel, 1,200 kilos should, fingers crossed, be more than enough. Um, obviously, it'll be a, it will be a bit more to the front than the rear, but I'm hoping that the front rate, the, the 300 kilos is enough for the front wheels. Um, time will tell. What I've also been buying, um, as I've mentioned before, we are a Sealy agent with the business, um, so as a, a birthday present to myself, um, which I've bought for myself out of the business, we've got some um, turntables, wheel turntables. Oh, it's a horrible car, isn't it? So basically what we'll be doing is that, that's what we're so, thing. No, so this allows you to do the caster. Oh, and then the I'll be saying when it gets to turn well, in, then I'll be saying. We've got to measure the actual car first yeah. to see where the car is today. But it'll allow, it'll allow me to set, make sure the cast is correct. A quick check on the um, on the tow, make sure it's got the correct level of tow um, as, a, as a kind of quick measurement. Um, but yeah, so these parcel, uh, parcel scales, in case you want, I've just got them off eBay. Um, they were 40, 40 or £41 pound each, so 160 quid. As opposed to, I think the cheapest proper scales that I could find were about 14, 1500 quid, something daft like that. Um, and I'm not going to call away at the car if you're meeting. It's, it's just kind of no point. So, um, so yeah. So, what we're going to do today is basically, I've been doing some homework. Um, how to make your car handle textbook. So, we're going to measure basically the side side to side what the length is on both sides i'm going to measure diagonally across what the length is both sides hopefully the car's square um fingers crossed we'll find out if it's within about quarter of an inch that should be fine um but we're going to have a have a measure the way i'm going to do it me and the little one, i'm literally going to measure it from the center of the hub to the center of the hub on the front so it's going to be an approximate one but that's kind of where we're going for so i can put the tape measure on there I can put a, um, a, a, a T square in the front on the hub to, to kind of get the tape measure too and then reflect that on the passenger side, do both sides. We're going to write everything down. Then I'm going to measure the chassis 
basically measure from the back of the, the back corner to the front corner and then the front corner at the back corner diagonally see where we end up with that and then i'm also going to measure on the suspension diagonally as well so pretty much kind of behind the wheel where the pick a fixed point front and a pick fixed point rear basically so long as i'm measuring from the same point on either side it's it's, it's irrelevant what you know there's not a specific place you have to have to measure from so providing i pick the same point on each of the rears and the same point on each of the fronts that'll be fine make sure we've got no kind of irregularities and then um, from that point of view from that moment we can then start to look at the corner weights um get the ride height i am going to look at dropping the rear because the rear is quite high so maybe he's take sort of half an inch or so out the rear um the fronts i've measured and the kind of the fronts is a little bit all over the place so we're going to try and get that evened out a little bit um do that fingers crossed that'll help with the corner weights get the corner weights roughly about where we want them then we'll do the caster next i'll um make sure that there's a bit of caster on it and then after that we'll do the camber on the front the rear and um, the rear was fine but we'll make sure that it's correct on the front because obviously we've changed all that and then the last thing that i'll do is the toe but i will measure the rear toe as well because we do want a very slight toe in on the rear and then a, a, i can't remember if it's two in or two out it's about an eighth of a, uh, eighth of a degree or something but i can't remember exactly what it is but we'll, we'll kind of go through that but but for now what we're going to do is off camera we're going to kind of shuggy the car about eight inches that way in the garage um so we can kind of get down measure it easy and then get a notepad and then me and you are going to have a measure but i'm being the writer you're being the writer i can't write very well can i I'm so you will need a writer than me exactly and then what we'll also do i weigh i weighed myself the other day and i'm sort of 90 to 95 kilos so i'm going to err on the heavy side by the time i have my race kit on we're going to stick 95 kilos in the driver's seat before we corner weight it so that we have a, an accurate thing of what it weighs mm. as if i was sat in the car obviously take the the anti-roll bar off so that it's not kind of skewing anything and then we'll reset the anti-roll bar as well because the anti-roll bar was very tight if you remember when we, we were changing this so just need to make sure that the anti-roll bar is sitting nicely um this is when a four post event would have been perfect but don't know anybody with one so we're going to do it as best as we can in the garage aren't we me and you mm -hmm. so without further ado let's get cracking her eh? yeah. yeah so what are we thinking about that then after we've done some measurements well are you going to are you going to try and I explain to the viewers over the moon because when we did the lengths up and down, like yeah, there, if I, if I, if yeah. if I put it on there, then you can so put when it around to the yeah. sun, and then you so the people can see it. So when we were doing it up here and up here, you can see that we've been we've had the same, and then when we've been doing it up here and up here, we're over the moon because we didn't by actually our, expect it to be that by our kind of crude measurements which is basically oh, of that bit. what we've done where's the set square so what we've, had, what we've done is we've had the burn effectively hold it on the center at the back i've put this into the middle of there and obviously measured to the center which was your two to it either way underneath what i've basically done if you imagine i'll just kind of do it on the outside of the wheel so we've got the way it sits upright like that on the floor which is roughly level as far as i can get it under the chassis the um, under the um wishbone Wait, rather under the wishbone um mark the floor done the same front of you so the furthest point away on the suspension well, we did this. Sorry. the furthest point away on the suspension we are going to do another measurement on the inside of the suspension as well just to make sure and i'll do one at the back of the wheel as well but it's it's looking good so far so at the kind of like the on the lower wishbone where it furthest out to where it would hit meet the tire mark x marks a spot on the floor done that front of it we've measured it and we've got the same measurement obviously quite crude but it's close that's the main thing if it was miles away it would still be miles away wouldn't it so the fact that it's absolutely bang on tells will suggest to me anyway that we we aren't far away at all hence the burns road 
over the moon <laughs> because I am I'm, I'm genuinely delighted because the most awkward measurement the most awkward change rather to make will be this one because if you have I mean it might to be fair because it's it's the same on the crisscross as well I don't think it's going to have one wheel further forward than the other or anything like that there's not a, a, another way I can really think about doing to check that um I'll go about the book but to be fair I've always been taught if you measure and it's the same and it's the same on a diagonal so like measure diagonal diagonal side side if they kind of all tally up then whatever you're measuring door frame hole frame car everything's square fingers crossed so that is much better news than I'd anticipated so I'm very very happy with that and um, let's see what I might do is kind of go to a centre point of the suspension it's just getting underneath the car that's the problem um, you know without kind of jacking it up and, and the way things are at the minute everything's settled everything's in a nice place so we've kind of just done that but um, I'm going to take some more measurements um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to corner weight it I'm going to take the stuff out of the passenger side I'm going to weigh myself on the scales so we can all have a laugh at what I weigh um, and then we're going to stick the similar weight in here in in the seat and maybe a little bit on the floor just to kind of distribute it as if I was sitting in the car and then we're going to put the car on the scales and see see what she weighs you Yay. Yay. all right but yeah so I might do some more measuring later on off camera when I can kind of be uh, underneath it properly and, and whatever but for today I think what we're going to do now is we're going to look at putting distributing some weight weigh myself because we've got the scales there and should we do that now should yeah. I weigh myself and see we'll give everybody yeah. a laugh and after can I weigh myself yeah. and then everyone can see how beautiful and how how little you are. little I am but actually how big I'm I'm a little girl but I'm actually actually I actually weigh quite a lot I do So here we go then if I stand on here. Oh Nine fatty. Ninety-six point seven six. Ninety-six point five, yeah. ninety-six point seven. So if we stuck well there's ninety seven. That's with trainers and so if we stuck maybe he's ninety eight kilos in the car. Yeah. Daddy needs to go on a diet, Daddy thinks. Okay. Alright then let's see what little one weighs. I'm gonna guess about thirty. Oh, I wasn't far away, was I? 31.45. Yeah. Yeah, so happy days. So what we'll do now is put some stuff out to get it. We'll weigh it on there and we'll add it into the car till we've got about 98 kilos. What a bastard. Um, I never what? I never used to be 98 kilos. And then we'll jack the car up. We'll drop it down on the scales and then we'll see what she weighs. What she weighs. What she weighs. What she weighs. <laughs> <laughs> So, moment of truth, we've jacked up front and rear, got them underneath, so this one's reading 48 already. I need to check that one switched on. These two are zero, that one's switched on, that one's reading 29. But what we're going to do now, I believe that the back will be the lighter bit, so I'm going to drop the back down first, ever so gently. There we go. So that's the back going down. Front going down. So the back is officially twenty two to twenty three. The car's officially twenty two, you mean? No, yeah. 245 and then let's check the front going at 25 257.2 well 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 59.9 yeah well Yeah. 
Where's this one? So, this one's 304.7. And then I've already showed you this one. So, that's not good. <sighs> oh, I forgot to show you this one. 26, 260. Wow. So, we'll do calendar calculator. So, 256.9 plus 260.1. So, the front axle is 517. And then we've got 244.5 plus 304.6. So we've got 549.1. So it's not actually that bad from the rear. Plus 517. And she's 1,066 kilos. 1,000 for round numbers. 1,000. She needs to go on a diet. She's got heavy. So, it's 1,066 kilos, the car, with me in it, and it's got, probably got half a tank of fuel in it. With you in it, do you not mean the stuff in well, it? equivalent of me in it, yeah. <laughs> so that's sitting at 0.5 now, isn't it? So, yeah. So it will be so 1,000. So it's bang on 1,066 kilos. The problem we've got... Are you looking at this? So the problem we've got... That's nice across the board. I'm not going to worry about like three kilos. It's this one here. So we need to make this corner heavier and this corner lighter because there's 60 kilos. So we basically need to take, so we need to do like the equivalent of plus 30 and minus 30, which would take that there about 272, 72, 62, 60. So that would be perfect. So now what we need to do is work out what we have to adjust to get to that. Yay! Fingers crossed it works. Hopefully. Right then, I think we're going to call that one a wrap for today because she's getting her ears in again. Um, we're not in the right clothes to get too dirty no, with the day. It's just a, you in a dress, I know. So, um, thanks very much for watching, guys. It hasn't been that much of an involved video, this one, but the next one will be. This is kind of part one of, of setting it up. We've had good part things. Part two is going to be better. Yes, you'll be at your mum's for part two when I do that. But, so, then part one is going to be better. <laughs> so we know that the car is running square, of a square from our crew measurements as we're, as we're going to get it. We know that... The corner weights actually aren't that bad. Front to rear is it's forty eight percent front, fifty two percent rear. It's just that the driver side or your corner is noticeably heavier. So I want to, I'm going to drop the the overall ride height on the rear anyway. I think I'm going to kind of take maybe a quarter of an inch out of the ride height just to see if that improves the body roll. Um, have a look at the front. I'm going to also take the, I'm going to disconnect the front anti-roll bar. See if that has any effect on the weights. So I'll do all of that, we'll wait again, see where we are, and then we need to kind of get into adjusting, slightly adjusting the diet, like, you know, the left-hand front, make that slightly heavier to drop some weight out the, out of the rear, um, the, the driver's side rear, because you go caught diagonally opposites, um, apparently. So so it's, it'll be quite an in-depth video. Um, so stay tuned to watch that one. I hope I'll get that one done next week, because to be fair, with... with holidays and life and, and whatever else. We're racing in the 17th of August at Alton Park for the um, like the Northern Speed Fest or, or whatever it's billed as, but uh, get yourselves there. Um, but yeah, so I've we, we have a wait for a week and a bit, in a it, kind of in a week's time, so I want the car all sorted in advance of us going so that when we get back off holiday, all I've got to do is kind of polish it and put it on the trailer. Fingers crossed. I don't want, want to be messing about with it too much. Um, and going out with a bit more unknown but the band's got a little message for you so i did this earlier on don't Can forget you see it? i'll read it to you don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and don't forget to smile everyone needs a smile don't they yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah that's that's kind of a wrap for today guys um basically going to take it back off the scales now and uh and come back to it tomorrow or whenever um, your birthday party this weekend so I'll not give a chance to on be on it either so 
but uh, but yeah thank you very much for watching guys hope you've enjoyed it um as the ben says please do remember to to, uh, to subscribe come on get those subscriptions we also want in comments in as well well apparently we want comments and we want you all to like the video so apparently with the youtube um algorithm things the more likes we get the more it opens it up to other people and potential new people and blah blah computer stuff that i don't understand but uh but yeah thanks very much guys all the best um she's out of sight again and uh on that note all the best ta-da <laughs>